So lately in practices, we've been focusing on more like team dynamics, and then we have a split off. So we've actually been spending a lot of time together, whereas in comparison to normal season, we had a lot of staggered individual work on specialized skills. And throughout the last week, week and a half, we've been doing a lot of team workouts and team drills to, I mean, I guess, play better. I guess my individual goals would just be centered around the team goals to do exactly what my team needs, you know, for us to be successful and just to really go out and finish stronger than we started. And team wise, just to play at the level that we know we can play at. Consistently play like each set, you know, getting better and just kind of striving for the goal right now. Um, a lot of what we have been doing is we like to refer to it as a marathon and we peaked at the essential point to peak at with our skills and at the beginning it was shaky getting to know new skills and learn things that were I mean different from what we had before but we by the time we got to playing in October we had adjusted those skills learned those skills and were enhancing them and so that's where I think a lot of our wins came from was working hard to better enhance things that we had been working on in the beginning. I mean, Southern Wesleyan and Coastal Georgia are definitely great teams, and like we respect them and have prepared for them. But just like any other opponent that we've faced in conference play prior to now, it's all been about our side of the court. So, you know, respecting our opponent is going to be really key, but I think that the biggest factor for us is how we play. And how well we gel together and how well we just kind of bring the competition.